the 90-90-90 trap. This is something that the vast majority of brokers rely on like clockwork to pay their staff, their call centers, their marketing expenses, their profits, everything. But it's something that they will never tell you. How do I know? Because I've been for over seven years at the highest levels of the trading industry. I then left because I wasn't feeling comfortable with how things were going, how some of the banks were treating their clients, and I've been very close at the highest levels with most of the major brokers, CEO, owner type level. The whole retail trading industry Industry is centered around the 90-90-90 trap. So what is it and how can you get out of it? The 90-90-90 trap means that statistically 90% of retail traders will lose 90% of their cash within 90 days. Because the majority of brokers are A slash B book brokers, if you lose, they win. If you lose 90% of your capital within 90 days, they've just banked 90% of your capital in just 90 days. So ask yourself, when your broker is providing you with free education, courses, seminars, or you know free trading signals whatever that may be is it really in the broker's best interest to have you with further whenever you followed any of that broker signals education whatever how did that work out for you if you're losing the broker is making money how do you get out of it? two things number one follow your own path listen to what the broker has to say but always in the back of your mind ask yourself how's the broker making money and is it in his best interest to have you win? Don't listen to the stories that they tell you like, oh yeah, you know, the broker makes money from your volume, all that stuff. That's just sales talk. Find out whether your broker is an A slash B book type broker or is a true STP broker. Always ask yourself whose interest is the broker really following. Follow your own path. Don't listen to what the broker is telling you. If they're giving you good prices, good platform, and they're a true ECN and STP broker, stick with that. They are a broker. They're a transactional platform for you. The second thing, and my students know how big I am on risk management and how much of a difference that can have on your bottom line on your profits, and this is, depending on what strategy you're following, never risk more than 1, 2, or even 5% of your capital on any given trade. If you stick to those two rules, I can guarantee you, you'll be out of that 90-90-90 trap. Here's the main difference between professional traders and retail traders. This is why professional traders make a killing in the market, taking all the money from the retail traders. Remember, money flows to those who respect it the most. Pro traders have a systematic approach to trading. They don't try and second guess whether the market will go up, down or sideways. They follow a system that tells them what to do. And that system will get them to profit whether the market goes up, down or sideways. That is the system. They're just executing and following a system. They're not guessing anything. The work has been done by the system before the first trade is even placed. This is why most traders are in the 90-90-90 trap. Number one, retail traders have a directional approach to trading. They try and predict whether the market will go up or down that day. Pro traders don't care. Pro traders have a system that they are following and they're just executing the system. The analysis on that system being profitable has already been done. That system is designed in a way so that over time it will make money regardless whether the market goes up, down or sideways. They're not guessing anything. They're executing a proven system. Retail traders, they're always trying to make the most money fast. The time frame is always one minute, five minutes, an hour, daily tops. They want to make money fast. They want to get rich. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. However, pro traders, they get rich by trading over time. They see trading as a career. They trade until retirement and they're on a specific mandate. So that means they decide or someone has decided for them, you are going to trade aggressive strategies. You are going to trade low risk strategies. You're going to trade this or that market. They're following a mandate. So they've got a system and they've got a job to do. They get on with it. Retail traders, by trying to get rich fast, they eventually end up destroying all of their capital. Professional traders have two goals. And here the order is very important. Goal number one, capital preservation. Only secondary to goal number one is capital growth. What is more scarce, your capital or opportunities in the market? There is a limitless supply of opportunities in the market. There will always be. There is a limited supply of your capital. Therefore, what should you protect the most? Your capital, of course.